Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Miss V Reads. I'm Miss V and today I'm super excited to read this story with you all. I'm so excited that I actually have to get dressed for this read aloud. There we go. Today, we are reading the book, Bedtime Bonnet. It was written by Nancy Red and illustrated by Necka Myers. I'm gonna read the blurb on the back. Where could my bedtime bonnet be? In my family, when the sun goes down, our hair goes up. My brother slips a do-rag over his locks. Sis swirls her hair in a wrap around her head. Daddy covers his black waves with a cap. Mama gathers her corkscrew curls in a scarf, and I always wear a bonnet over my braids. But tonight, I can't find it anywhere. Let's begin. I'm going to take the cover off, just so it's easier for me to turn the pages. And oh, they're just such beautiful pages. Bedtime bonnet. In my family, when the sun goes down, our hair goes down up. My brother twists and tightens each of his locks. Sis combs her hair in a swirl round her head. Daddy's hairbrush makes rows of black waves appear. Grandma rolls up her silver mane. Grandpa doesn't do anything to his hair because he doesn't have any. After mommy gathers her corkscrew curls in a scarf, she calls for me. I scoot between her legs and she gets to work on my hair. I'm tender-headed, so she's extra gentle. Tender-headed is when your head is a little sensitive when people comb or brush it. Miss B is tender-headed too. Grandpa tells jokes as mommy works her magic. He asks me, why does the bee have sticky hair? I don't know. So he says, because it uses a honeycomb. <laughs> Silly grandpa. Finally, a braided crown is on top of my head and it's time for bed. Except, I can't find my bedtime bonnet. I needed to protect my hair from tangles and lint while I sleep. Wearing my bonnet at night is as important as brushing my teeth. So for like the narrator and other people who have hair like the narrator, we wear bonnets with like satin on the inside to make sure that our hair doesn't get tangled or get lint or cotton from our pillows when we sleep. I hope she finds it. Maybe grandma knows where it is. She's covering her rollers with a kerchief. Grandma, have you seen my bonnet? She gets up and looks around. No, dear, I haven't. Maybe your sister knows? My sister's still in the bathroom. Her hair is spun in a wrap. Sis, have you seen my bonnet? She looks in all the bathroom drawers. No, but here's daddy's wave cap. I take the cap to daddy and he pops it onto his waves. Daddy, have you seen my bonnet? He looks around the sofa, but it's not there either. Will she find her bonnet? Where in the world could my bonnet be? I can't go to bed without it. Oh my gosh. Just then, my, brother, my big brother walks in, a do-rack slipped over his locks. Does he know where it is? Big bro? Have you seen my bonnet? He doesn't even pretend to look. He just says, ask grandpa. Hmm, maybe grandpa found it. Oh, grandpa! The whole time, grandpa was wearing her bedtime bonnet. Mm -mm -mm. My bonnet is now in its proper place and I'm really sleepy. Everyone gives me kisses and hugs, and mommy and daddy read me a story. Good night, family. In the morning, when the sun comes up, our hair comes down. 
Daddy smooths his ocean-like waves. Mommy scrunches her ribbony curls. Sis unwinds her foot-long wrap. My brother shakes out his lovely locks. While Grandma unsnaps her rollers, Grandpa shaves his head. And as for me, my bonnet comes off and my braids come out. Oh, let me take my bonnet off too. Shake out my locks, there we go. Now we're all ready for a brand new day. So this book is super important because it shows you a different way that some people get ready for bed. This story is very similar to like Miss B, when Miss B goes to bed, or when Miss B was growing up with her mom and her dad and things like that. This is a wonderful book. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye! Thank you.